Oh, hello. I'm Daniel, and today I'm looking at tardigrades. A tardigrade is microscopic, and it lives in a microscopic ecosystem, along with other things such as paramecium, spurtifers, and others. And a tardigrade can only be seen with a compound light microscope, like the one I have here. The best magnification to see a tardigrade on is 20 to 40 times. A tardigrade is one millimeter long and can, and can barely be seen with the naked eye. But what exactly is a tardigrade and what does it do? Well, I'll show you. This is a tardigrade swimming around in pond water as recorded by a compound light microscope at 20 times magnification. Notice how it moves and if you look closely you can see little claw-like things at the end of their appendages. These traits are shade shared by a bear, and for that reason, tardigrades are sometimes called water bears. They can also be called moss piglets, as they eat moss, and some people think that they look a bit like piglets. A tardi um, tardigrade is an aquatic microorganism, so that it lives in water and can't be seen with the naked eye. They live in a microscopic ecosystem, and are one of the biggest there. Now I'm going to show you how to collect a tardigrade, and why it's important to study them. One of the unique characteristics of a tardigrade is their ability to withstand almost all climates. The way they are able to do this is by going into the tun state, a hibernatory state in which they curl up into a ball and replace almost all liquid inside their veins with glucose. In the, in the tun state, a tardigrade is able to survive the deep pressure of the bottom of the ocean, the heat of a geyser, or even the cold vacuum of outer space. Because of their small size, high reactive abilities, and the fact that they can be found almost anywhere in the world, tardigrades are a good indicator species for scientists to use. An indicator species is an organism that scientists use as a tool to, know, to tell if there is an environmental stressor in an area. One example of an environmental stressor is global climate change, which has been a problem that has resurfaced in the past few decades. But where are tardigrades found locally? Well, usually, tardigrades are found in a stream like this one here that I am in, or some place where there is water, lichen, and moss, because lichen and moss are the main foodstuffs of a tardigrade. And now I will show you how to collect a tardigrade. So, what I'm going to do is take this knife and sweep some moss into this jar that I brought from home. should do it sort of like this then cap it up now I'm gonna collect some algae and I'll see you when I get there yes algae right here see this is another example of prime tardigrade real estate especially because this is in the water so any tardigrades here won't be in the ton state because when some when an area dries up that's usually what happens so I'm just going to scoop up a bit right around this rock here should do it Got a bit of algae. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some organisms to analyze.